All right, so what we're gonna be doing over the next week or so is doing a real world uh, miles per gallon uh, evaluation of the Ford Maverick. We're gonna make this quick, easy, get to the point. Everybody can see the numbers, which is what they came here to see. We're going to be using different modes. We're gonna be using the same route so things are consistent. Um, but it's gonna be real world. It's gonna be a combination of a country road and highway driving. And then we're gonna do just country roads because that's where the Ford Maverick's really uh, gonna shine. And I'll show you guys all the numbers when it's done. So uh, yeah, so we'll get started. Uh, today's the first day and uh, I'll do as many different modes and uh, configurations as we can to see if the Ford Maverick lives up to the promises it makes. Awesome. From the media.ford.com website, they state, and I quote, the all new Ford Maverick is the first standard full hybrid pickup in America and the most fuel efficient truck on the market with a targeted EPA estimated rating of 40 miles per gallon in the city. All right, so this was from home to work, uh, 5.0 liters. Uh, this was regular. Um, no different modes. This is completely normal. This is uh, no air conditioning, no anything. So that's pretty impressive uh, miles per gallon. Anyway, home to work, completely regular mode. All right, so today's trip was uh, eco mode to work. So it looks like a uh, 5.4 liter per 100 kilometers. I'm trying to remember if this is better than our first trip, but anyway, here are the numbers, and uh, we'll compare at the end of the video. All right, so this was the one-way trip to work, 40 kilometers long, uh, took a half hour. So as you can see, uh, the car got 5.0 uh, liters per 100 kilometers is actually lower than I was expecting. Um, gives you the total and what I assume is the total it traveled on electric, though I'm not sure how that works. But uh, yeah, just for comparison, that's the numbers with the air conditioner. All right, so this is a, another trip. Um, it is 5.5 uh, liters per 100 kilometers. This was sport mode, uh, everything else being the same. As you can see, there's absolutely no electric kilometers this time. This is the only time we've seen that. And uh, it's definitely burned a bit more gas. I will tell you though, sport mode, definitely the most fun mode of them all. That probably goes without saying, but anyway, that's sport mode. All right, so here's a summary of all the test drives that I did. Um, so the kilometers are pretty consistent throughout all the drives. Um, there are a few surprises. For example, eco mode uh, is returning uh, less fuel efficiency than regular mode. Regular mode with uh, air conditioner on was as consistent as without air conditioning on. Uh, the only thing that made any sense was that sport mode uh, used the most fuel of all, uh, but only barely. So when uh, I do the average of all these drives, the average uh, liters per 100 kilometers is 5.225, which ends up being 45 miles per gallon. So that's, that's wonderful. I have a few drives under my belt now, and this is very consistent. I'll continue to add data to the collection. That's the only way to come up with real numbers, but as you can see, there's nothing out of the ordinary here. Um, obviously, there is uh, the way you drive and uh, many unknown factors of the trip are obviously influenced in these numbers. Eco mode, for example, should never be one of the higher ones, but 
there's so many things that could have happened that day. Traffic could have been heavier. I could have had to pass a couple vehicles that would all make a big difference. Um, so anyway, but all across the board, the numbers are in the five to five and a half liters. So that is about what you can expect with regular driving. Uh, and uh, so far the gas mileage is wonderful. So I hope this helps people see the real world gas mileage um, and going back to the beginning where we talked about what Ford promised which was uh, 40 miles per gallon in the city and I believe the city actually returns better fuel efficiency than the highway just due to the hybrid engine. Uh, I don't have comparisons between pure city and pure highway driving though I will do some comparisons there but it's not going to make a huge difference as these trips were uh, rough, not evenly split, but did uh, involve both of those types of trips. So uh, it definitely uh, gets what they promised and more. So uh, that's wonderful. You can expect uh, some of the best gas mileage you're going to get out of any vehicle, and that is very impressive for a truck. So thanks for joining, and uh, subscribe and follow me for um, more updated um, research on the issue of fuel efficiency and other features of the truck. Thanks again for joining.